Hi everyone, in today's video we're gonna create something that will be especially familiar for iPhone users. And I'm of course talking about this interaction where you pull the menu from the top with the background being blurred while doing this. So usually you get this search bar and some kind of suggestions in the case of an, of an iPhone, you get Siri suggestions offering you apps or certain actions that you can do. This is the prototype we're gonna create today. I hope you'll be able to learn something new. Let's get started. So here I have this beautiful image of an abstract 3D render that I downloaded from Unsplash. This is the author, by the way. And I'm gonna use the frame tool. I'm gonna start with creating a screen. I'm gonna press F and then go over here to select iPhone 13 Pro. Now I'm gonna duplicate this image. I'm gonna make it smaller. I'm gonna make it about 900, 1000 pixels tall. Then I'm gonna actually move that inside this frame, inside this screen, right? Then I'm gonna use the text tool to type in 937, some kind of time, generic time. Let's use Helvetica. I'm gonna center this, make the font like 80. Maybe we wanna make the image slightly darker, so I'm gonna create a bit of an overlay over the image, 10%, 9% opacity, black color, something like that. I'm gonna copy this and just type in Tuesday, March, March 3rd, like this. I'm gonna make this regular and then launch the prototype to test our screen. So this is what we get right now. I think we could include some icons at the top left, at the bottom left and bottom right, sorry. I think we could, you know, just mimic flashlight and the camera icon just as placeholders, right? To get the usual layout. I'm gonna also do two rectangles over here. They're gonna be white, they're gonna be rounded, and they're gonna be in the top right and top left corners to kind of serve as the status bar that you usually get your battery life, your carrier to mimic the usual, the very well-known layout uh, you can find on your iPhones. Right, so now that we have the time, we have the icons, we have all the stuff, we have the background. Let's get started with the interaction. And what I'm gonna do now is actually duplicate this screen. I'm gonna then select the new screen, press enter and remove anything from, everything from the, from the frame. I'm gonna also make it transparent. So we have an empty transparent frame. So we have basically an invisible frame, right? I'm gonna add a bit of fill actually just for our purposes so that we see where the frame actually is. I'm gonna remove this afterwards, but I'm gonna use the rectangle tool to create some content on this screen. It's gonna be rounded like this, white and transparent, 270. And then you will also get cancel text right here. It's gonna be smaller, like 18 pixels, 24 from the right side. And then also we're gonna duplicate this, extend that over here. Do this, move it a little bit, duplicate this again, and type in series suggestions, make the font a bit bigger, 24 pixels approximately, and maybe make it bold, and then just take all of this and group it. All right, so we have a group, we have the we have the content group over here that will be centered and glued towards the top. I'm gonna move it over here, then make it taller like 1000 so we get this you know slightly taller than our screen i'm gonna turn this into a component we're gonna name this component series suggestions and then duplicate it or create another state we have two state series suggestions default and variant 2. i'm gonna name this variant invisible and this one will be visible. I'm gonna select the content group right here and set the opacity to zero. I will also select this invisible variant and set the fill to zero, right? Zero percent opacity on the fill. Then I'm gonna go over to assets and search for the series suggestions component and I'm gonna click and drag that over to the screen. And this gets a little bit tricky because this frame is empty. You can't see anything. So it's gonna have to look towards the layers panel here and make sure you, you're working with the right object. I'm gonna move this a little bit down. So let's actually center this and then duplicate 
this frame along with the series suggestions component within this frame as well. Now I'm gonna click series suggestions right here and you can see that we have minus 78 coordinates, the Y coordinates. I'm gonna set those to zero, right? So they are precisely aligned towards the top. I'm gonna also change the state from invisible to visible, right? So we can see this, then I will select the time and date. I'm gonna move this 78 pixels towards the bottom. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two back. I will also select rectangle one and rectangle two, and I'm gonna move them towards the top, on top of everything. Similar here as well. So you get rectangle one and rectangle two at the very top of each respective screen. I'm gonna group these and rename both of these groups, command click, rename them Data's Bar. And now, under Series Suggestions Components, I will select this state and then go to Effects and add an effect that is called Background Blur. Of course, we are gonna make the background blur significantly more prominent, so you can have a look at these numbers and just um, think we should we could go for like 30 or 40 something like that maybe 30 34 yep that seems about right 34 let me just select the series suggestions on this left frame and go to prototype and connect that connect this to the second screen right gotta be careful you need to make sure it connects to the screen as a whole and not to a specific element like this not like this it needs to snap right here awesome i'm gonna say on drag this is not gonna be on tab this is gonna be on drag navigate to screen smart animate ease in and out 200 milliseconds and then what i'm gonna do is again select the series suggestions component instance in the second frame go to prototype and connect that back to the first one. Again, make sure it snaps right here, like this. And this is gonna be on tap. Navigate to screen, again, smart animate, 200 milliseconds. And also I'm gonna do the same with this cancel button. Also, I'm gonna connect that here and say on tap, navigate to screen, smart animate, ease in and out, 200 milliseconds. Additionally, I'm gonna select the series suggestions again, go again to prototype, and connect that again to this to this screen and say on drag, navigate to screen. You can see that, and again, smart animate, ease in and out, 200 milliseconds. You can see that we get two interactions on this one single element. We can return back through tapping as well as through dragging. And I think we are about done. I think we are ready for testing the final result. Um, Let's launch the prototype and see what the final result looks like. So this is our screen. We can then click and drag downwards to see this screen, series suggestions, cancel, everything's in place. When I click here, it reverts back. When I click anywhere around the screen right here, it also reverts back. And additionally, when I click and drag back, it also moves back and forth. So it mimics the actual real thing, the real iPhone interaction quite precisely. And of course, since we chose this structure, we could, for example, create, I don't know, if you wanted to like put a specific app right here, let's say this is gonna be some kind of app that will have a logo icon that will be this color. You can make the edits here and then it's gonna gonna show up when you interact with this with this prototype make maybe make this a bit darker or we could make the background even darker you know um, anything any changes you make here are gonna be reflected right here and also in the final preview of course but I think I'm gonna go for 10 so yeah this is how you create the Siri suggestions interaction similar to the one you can see on your iPhone I hope you learned something new if you did please leave a like and if you're interested in Figma make sure to check out my channel or even subscribe thanks for tuning in and I will see you in the next one